That's the evidence. Right, that extra sure. five minutes. <laughs> All right. Hey, your weather today is looking pretty good, except for the wind. We'll get to that in a moment. But how about Antelope Island last night? Beautiful shot. We had a sunset and a half last night. And you can see the transition from the hot pink to the orange to the yellow. Man, well done. Antelope Island here with the silhouette and a little bit of the Great Salt Lake. Paul Stout with the credit on last night's photo there. Okay, so showers in southern and eastern Utah continue to pop into the afternoon. There is a chance for an isolated storm across the Wasatch Front, but I'm not holding my breath on it today. Yesterday really underperformed, so that means with more dry air moving in today, we may see a pop-up, so I've left it in the forecast, but it's nothing spectacular. Here's 5 p.m. in the afternoon and evening storms in the UNS and in eastern Utah. Flash flood potential is definitely up there for the southern half. Uh, you'll notice winds are going to be whipping today and tomorrow afternoon. This is Saturday you're looking at for Storm Zone. Even dry air mixing into the eastern half by that time. Uh, but today, chance for storms, putting down some pretty good rain. But the heaviest totals, it's in eastern Utah. Northern Wasatch Front and most of the state, it's not going to be as much as we filter in that dry air. Hey, game night live going on, 7 p.m. kick. It's Farmington at Bountiful, streamed free on the app. It'll be in the 80s, finished in the 70s by that fourth quarter. Southern Utah, Washington County, if you've got a game you're going to, 90s for the start, 80s for the fourth quarter. Okay, slight chance for showers here through central Utah. East central Utah, you've got a better chance for those wetting rains, and that'll kind of stand true. If you're down in San Juan uh, County out towards Lake Powell, probably some heavier storms, whereas Cedar City is kind of more of an isolated chance. Very isolated chances for most of the northern region today, unless you're out in the basin. Wasatch Front, these are isolated storms. Uh, they'll be widely, widely scattered. Okay, partly cloudy, windy, 95 for your Friday. We keep it windy on Saturday, cooling to 91, then rising back to the upper 90s. Wasatch Front, slight chance today. Windy tomorrow again, 75 on your Sunday. We love it. Rising back up to 90 degrees as we work into Wednesday, but a dry stretch headed our way here in the seven-day. All right, Matt, thanks. Uh,